What's up, guys? Brendan from Market Makers, the Crypto Buddha returns. It is Tuesday, giving you a Bitcoin price action update. If you watched yesterday's video, I appreciate you suffering through it. It was 21 minutes long. This will be short, sweet, and concise, I promise. Guys, I'm not going to rehash anything about volume. We did multiple volume studies in yesterday's video. As everybody on the channel, the subs now know, I predicted this pattern failure prior to the pump five hours prior to the pump on Sunday. And, uh, you know, I got a lot of kudos for that in the chat and the discord. And I appreciate it, guys. Um, it just shaped out that way. We had a 6,000 point pump June 13th, 6,000 point pump here. And now price is faltering and we're going to look at it. Can it pump again or is it going to dump or are we just going to consolidate? So let's look at it. So Guys, you know, as a pattern trader and a volume trader, basically, I keep telling you that Bitcoin when it's in low volume areas, likes to make shapes, right? So we had this parabolic rise up. I thought we were cutting the Bart Simpson pattern based on how the candles were printing. This is what it looked like it was going to do, right? And you have your typical swing pattern failure there. I expected this to go further out and then fall down, right? That would have been the Bart Simpson pattern, reclaiming all the candles that you rose with. However, if I can Tuesday morning quarterback this now, which makes it easy, right? You look at it now, and what did you really do? You just basically formed a double top, right? You broke your neckline and you dumped. Where did you dump to? Bitcoin makes shapes and low volume areas. That's how I was able to predict the pattern failure. We are resting right in that this consolidation box, right? We are resting in this consolidation box of volume. This there's volume here to keep the price here. There's not volume above here. You have to pump the 47k. If you pump the 47k, you can rest the price there if people buy. Volume is buying and selling. So you got to understand that, right? So what did we fall to when we fell? Well, Bitcoin also likes to consolidate based on what? What? Volume, right? So consolidate it on a volume point, a support level. So it consolidate it and it's in a triangle and it's a bear triangle because you descend it into it. It matters if you descend into a price or if you ascend into a price. It's a bearish pattern. You can draw your triangle, guys, with trend lines. Draw your base. Pull your base out. Whoops. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Pull your base out and put it on the candle that broke your triangle and you get your price drop. I mean, look at that. That's that's pretty damn accurate. Triangle trading is really fun, guys. It's extremely popular in Forex. And then what shape did Bitcoin make next? Bitcoin just can't give up making shapes. It's basically trending up in like some type of ascending wedge, ascending channel pattern. These are bearish because price typically falls out of it, right? Need some more candles to print. You can manipulate your screen to draw it the way you want it to with wicks, no wicks, whatever. But I expect this candle to print and at some point you're going to fall down from this, right? And you can get a price prediction but again by drawing that trend line. So, but you're still in this box is the bottom line. So what Bitcoin's doing is it's rolling over, it's making shapes, it's rolling over because you have buying, then you don't have support, so you have selling, then you get you hit a support level, then you have buying, and then you hit another level buying and then you get you roll over because you don't have support at that level. And that's how you make double tops, is how you make triple booties, is how you make head and shoulders, right? What are all these lines on my screen? It's probably what you're wondering. I'm using a lot of volatility uh, indicators to measure volatility, right? ATR. ATR is extremely popular in Forex. If you look at ATR, right when we had that parabolic pump, it gives you a baseline, right? You establish like a baseline. We had that parabolic pump. You rise, you rise up. And since then, it's been kind of petering off. That second wave here for the second pump, you had the ATR go up, and now it's kind of leveling off again. Down here, I'm looking at money flowing into the asset. This is a time segmented volume, okay? Essentially, you have a, I, I use an EMA for a signal line, and it's a histogram. So it shows you kind of like the MACD, how it shows buying and selling, but this is a little bit more involved as indicator. I'm gonna get into all these indicators in a separate video. It'll be a Discord exclusive video. And then down here, I have basically a volatility measurement for uh, printing bottoms. It works for tops too. You can see the top here printed, but it much, it's much more accurate for bottoms. Trev and I have been back testing a lot of different things. ATR is obviously very common. Everybody knows about it. A lot of people in trading, especially Forex, know about it. But um, I'm using time segmented volume for the first time. It does these little X's when volume when price drops off. There's a whole paper for this. So I'm experimenting with it, see if I like it. And it seems to be very accurate for my testing so far, but I'll make a video on it for you guys. So what do I expect? It is Tuesday. Wall Street hasn't pumped it yet, but remember, if they can pump it, they can pump it up to 47. 
And if they want it to stay there, they have to get buying or else you're just going to descend from there. So we could just end up consolidation in this range, consolidation, constipation until potentially even the weekend. You could end up just making series of shapes and legging down, or we could be potentially looking at another dip for the weekend, right? Or a pump because we are in a low volume area. It depends what the market makers like our name want to do with the price. So all we can do is give you probabilities, right? That's what the TA is for. I'm pointing out shapes. I'm pointing out likelihood of scenarios. And then you guys can make judgments based on that. But right now we're just making bear shape after bear shape after bear shape. And we're staying within this box. Maybe at some point we drop out of this box or we see a pump. So either way, I'll keep you guys updated. Guys, our Discord is free this week. Full access to all the Discord exclusive content. Full access to the other financial markets we track. Forex, um, stocks, and uh, commodities, precious metals. Okay, We have all of that there. We have Discord exclusive videos. Come meet the regular 200 members that are there. It's a one-week offer. You guys can come for free. All you do is jump in. Jump in, see if you like the room. Friday, it's over. So you're a member or you're not a member after Friday. I hope you like it. I hope you get the value. You'll get great calls in TA like I did on this pattern failure. Unique in this space. Unique in YouTube. Okay? Guys, thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for liking the video. We've been growing so fast. It's awesome. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys like the content. I try to get back to all your comments in the comment section. And uh, thank you again so much. Please like the video. Please send it out in the YouTube verse and the social media universe. I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for the support, and I'll look for another update soon.